Yep, they can't. It's a god miss. So Good much thing. damage. Get those, those longboats in. The longboats are moving. Wow, this is a great play from Huggy. Yeah, it's good. Got the, he's got Burmese, Vietnamese, and Persians. But he could also do Italians for their uh, hey. their water potential. Definitely a, a good water sieve with eco bonuses I mean, to they, back they it up. They built the aqueducts. Did they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, do we know oh, what stuff. type of sieves they have left? It's up. Game's up. Persians and Vikings. Right on. So is this going to be Persians. a douche? Oh, is it going to be a douche? Is it going to be a douche? Or is it going to be a cavalry? Or is it going to be elephants? I, I don't know. I, don't, oh, this... I have no idea if Green's going to go for a douche or not. That'd be very... I hope he good. does. I really <laughs> hope he does. He's got, he's got like, a bunch of games that, he, like, he has option to throw away a game if it potentially fails. I really hope true, he does. True, true, true. But uh, I think unless Green has no idea how to do that strategy, it's such a strong strategy, and it's so messy. It's so hard to counter. You kind of got to right. know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Matt, what do you think about these sieves? Uh, I'm not sure. So, the, uh, I mean, the Persians, like I said, I mean, I can see Green going for the uh, elephants or, I mean, the uh, Persian douche. So, I mean... I'm thinking that that's, uh, I really hope he does go for the douche. But with, uh, Huggy with the Vikings, I mean, uh, she, what do they have? They have strong eco and, uh, and, uh, work, like their ships and stuff, right? Yeah, they what get they no barrel and handcart for free. They, their infantry have more health, uh, and their, uh, ships cost less. Yeah, so I, I mean, I can see Huggy going for at least the, uh, at least going for, fishing a lot um i'm not sure if he'll go for i mean we i know he was uh listening in on the matches where we talked about uh doing the navy and the, and the little inlets kind of thing and yeah like uh kind of doing the pinches and hitting that pinch point and controlling that center area with the uh with warships so he might go for something like that i could see yeah that's actually a good point because in the other continental maps we were we were playing there were two passages, two land passages that connected the two main islands, or main lands. Uh, right, but we in had, this one, there's only one. We did one. have one. Yeah, we did have uh, one. We did have one game in the past where it was like this with just the one. Yeah, I think it was in the original set with green. And this one's actually pretty interesting because there's a there's a really nice spot on the west side of that uh, tree cluster in the center that's on a hill that'd be a perfect place to castle and you control a lot of this choke point oh, yeah not all of it that'd be amazing because, you could wall off yeah you could wall to the tree lines from the coast to the tree line and bam get a ton of map control out of one castle uh, so yeah. how about their maps what do you guys think about the maps I got, i'll cover uh, greens right now i think uh you know, being continental, obviously anything forward is kind of risky. His main gold is kind of forward, and it's also exposed to the water, so it could probably be ranged in maybe Castle Age from Navy. Uh, you know, berries and secondary gold are back. Uh, that's a that's a long trip for a Navy, but again, they're still vulnerable from the sea. I think he's got good tree lines. He's got a very wallable base. His main stone is very forward, though, so. It's not a bad layout. Definitely a good wallable situation. Uh, Seems like Kagi is a lot more protected from the water, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah he's got everything's kind of the, further back. The water. Yeah, it's kind of close, but it's it's far enough away that he could put a uh, mining camp on the far side of it. And I'm sure Swine not be able to reach it. Yeah, I, th I think the interesting thing will be to see who goes for a navy and what they're able to get out of it. Like, if you go for yeah. maybe a late feudal or early castle navy and just put out 10 ships or something, enough where your galleys can counter fire, you could just circle around to the back of your enemy's base and just harass them from there. And use your use your existing I, navy to force a response. I remember you mentioning that building navy at all just really helps the point score, and so that, oh, yeah. could, be, that could make it into just a points race who can build a bigger navy. True, true. If there's a stalemate, but I'm actually I'm gonna start watching Green pretty closely oh, uh, until oh. he gets through feudal. Green's age. got Green's got a lot of 
fills on food right now. I could see him going for the douche right now. Yeah, he's got 11 on food. Uh, gather, well, no, 10 yeah, on food. That, 12, actually. That oh, seems like, that seems douchey. That seems like a douche. Yeah, and, and to what Matt was saying, uh, being able to get eco, to get food eco from a ship, from docks, is a huge benefit when you're trying to do a douche. Because you don't have to worry about farms or berries or trying to manage a hunt while you're trying to micro an attack at the same time. Actually, it, this is a fairly normal, uh, this is a fairly normal dark age so far, in terms of food and wood ratios. Uh, it seems like he's got a, he's got a lot of people on food though. I wouldn't normally expect that many shepherds. Okay, like, specifically shepherds. I mean, not just the uh, his boats. Yeah, it is a little heavy on sheep. You, usually you get maybe eight on a boar and max sheep on a fish, or max six on a sheep, sorry. Green is scouting the other island pretty aggressively. He hasn't found H yep. Huggy's base yet, which is key. He's got he's ten idols. Some too. guys off the wood. Uh, yeah. He's yeah, putting so them all off on the wood. This is a good time to build a okay. mill. I don't think he picked up those two sheep on the south. Oh no, he did. He did. So he's got all the sheep in his starting area, right? I think so. Well, he just I mean, he, he's already fishing. He's, I'm wondering if maybe he doesn't have enough wood. Um, he's getting uh, loom go forward, and, he's, kind of and he's going feudal. So I wonder, this will be it. If he goes forward as soon as loom comes Huggy's in. Huggy's also going feudal? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. After Huggy's got some vills in front of it. But if he goes loom, or if he goes forward as soon as feudal is nearing completion, then that's a douche. But if he waits and he's in feudal and doesn't do anything, then I don't think that's a douche. Yeah, I don't think this is a yeah, douche. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm starting to think it less. He's building houses and a protective thing, and he's actually building something that north there. Yeah, he's building a barracks. So if, he, if he, he's, kind of, he's, he's building doing a douche. Far side. Yep. Yep. And Huggy's got, yeah, no, a, we don't a, bit of a, Huggy's got a bit of a house wall going on in the choke point, too. Green's actually taken some sheep, but I, I don't think he's going to try to lame him. Oh, Huggy's got five idols. Uh, a lot of on. idols, yeah. Yeah, six idols. Oh, he's got an idol that just built the dock. Yeah, so this looks like a more traditional one. I So, yeah. Persian, if, he, if Green's going to go elephants, one. which he's been doing, uh, Persian... Elephants, they're war elephants. They have almost, they're almost twice as strong as battle elephants. But you don't get them to castle age, and they're extremely expensive. They're like 160, 200 food. Uh, you need, you need something like, I think, 50 villagers on farms to sustain. Uh, probably 25 on farms to sustain production from one castle. It's just absolutely like the economics are so hard to manage. Also, if Green was going for a uh, fast castle, he he should have gone up with more villagers. Hmm. Oh, Huggy just locked wonder. In, uh, Green's scout on his side. Like Huggy just finished uh, building off a border a wall. Oh, there's oh no, he can still get up on the, the north side there. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. I see that. now. Yeah, huge point, huge point swing in favor of uh, Green, right now, and that's uh, Green's got four villagers uh, on top of Huggy, but that's counting fishing ships. So a lot of this, a lot of this points and income difference is coming from that dock. This is the thing: if you have, if you can dock, and if there is fish, uh, fish eco to be had, and you don't do it, but your opponent does, they're going to be in such a better position than you. Oh yeah, like Green, like he's got four boats right now, and I think Huggy only has... Huggy has two. two. Yeah. Huggy has two. two. He's still yeah. going for it, he's got a fisherman. He's this got to do fishing camp. too. This lumber camp okay, from, he's got uh, fishing too. Huggy is not, not really well advised, because he has he just sent his villagers all the way around Facing the street the cluster to do it. Yep. And he's exposed to the water, but we haven't seen... Okay, Green's building a fire ship. That's the first, uh, that's the first navy we'll see. So Persian docks... That's a good call. Also get twice the hit points of normal docks. You'll yeah. see this, Hug Huggy's. This early in the early. game, they uh, dock. Yeah, this early in the game, uh, that dock, uh, that fire ship go destroys fishing economy pretty quick. Oh yeah, 
And at 100 food per fishing ship, that's a big hit. Huggy's got a couple militia out. It looks like he was thinking about doing a drush, and he's building another. So he's going for four, four militia. Yep. This could yeah. be interesting. Yeah, and Green's got uh, Green's got two spearmen. So th these are these are men at arms right now, and because Huggy is Vikings, these men at arms have 50 hit points, so they have extra health versus normal. Green's base is not fully walled either, so he could do some damage here. If he if he attacks at the right spot, if he if he waits, he's gonna miss his window. He's going though. So Huggy's going archers. He's doing... Oh wow! Oh, he's stopped outside now. Their scouts are fighting out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. And H Huggy's villagers. He's got five villagers idle that just finished sheep, and they're not not oh, doing anything oh, for him. Oh, oh, scout fight. Oh, I think Huggy Green took the hill. Green took the hill. Oh, oh and Huggy's going in. Okay, Huggy's Huggy going Huggy in too. Now. They're, they're fighting for the hill. Look at this micro. He's attacking the freaking house. Huggy's attacking the house with his militia. Oh, and he's already in. Why is he doing that? Okay, well, Huggy lost the the scout war. But he's got uh, yeah, and, uh, arms on the base. Yeah, this is the thing you always they're doing want. doing some damage to the house. You always want to go for villagers. He'll take the house down, but he could be attacking this wood line. He could go back to the berries. He could go to gold. Mm -hmm. Green built pikes to counter a scout rush, possibly. But uh, there's no scouts. So he could attack that gold, and the pikes aren't going to do anything to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to yeah. kill a now scout. He, he, he shouldn't take attack out a scout line. Okay, there you go, yeah. So this is, even though even though Huggy's not getting any kills right now, as long as he keeps his TC active at home and he's idled greens, this is good because he's slowing down his eco. This is value added. This is worth it. This is actually what the Drush is meant to do. Greens eco, those those wood farmers or those lumberjacks are down. They're not doing anything. So this is, this is good for him. And he's going to melt this palisade wall pretty quick if he wants. He might get a kill. Just watch out for that TC fire. Okay. Yeah, this is a good drush. This is a really good drush. He just needs to keep his TC moving. Oh no, fire ship. Oh. It's out. Is he is he moving it? Okay, he's got two fire ships, three fire ships back here. I'd like to see Green attack with those. Oh, Green's gonna lose a Vill. Yeah, there's nothing there. He's gonna lose two Vills. He's gonna lose two Vills to this drush. Oh, he should've! Oh my gosh! Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, Huggy? Just focus on that one bill. This is a good drush still. Uh, Huggy's got his TC working and Green has idled his. So Huggy has closed up the villager difference. Uh, Green's gonna make it up with four fishing ships. But that's not, not the same at this point as uh, villagers. Green also building pikes doesn't make sense. That was a, I think that was a misplay. Because that's extra food and wood that didn't do anything to protect against a scout rush. And that front, that front house in Green's base is also practically an open door at this point. Okay. Uh, Huggy's got some idols though that he needs to get under control, but he's switching into archers. Green's got two too. Yeah, Huggy's Three. on six. <laughs> Huggy idols! Huggy idols! Speed up your game, Matt. Oh, am I behind? I'm on 2159. Yeah, I have two, and I see three idols on Huggy and oh, I thought you said on archers. green right now. Yeah. No, idols. Yeah, he's on three, three idols right now. Uh, well, so much for tying up the Vill score. Huggy's uh, now one villager behind. And, and carrying more idols. Huggy's yeah, starting. and there's, uh, there's, there's spider ships down, man. I really wish Green... Yeah. I don't know what Green's wall is there. Huggy's housed, so he's building some more houses and he's completing that wall at the choke. Well, I like I do like Huggy taking the initiative, and I think with Green being a little distracted and uh, building counter infantry, Huggy has potential to do yeah. a lot of damage with this uh, archer attack if he if he manages it correctly. Wolf attack. Huggy is also missing his blacksmith upgrades. He's getting padded archer armor, but he needs fletching. That's so much more important for archers. 
Still cruising on three idols. Three out of three. It, it almost seems like Huggy is just tech switching just to keep green guessing. So he won't know what to fight green. with. Yeah. It's a bold move. Green's four idols. Uh, uh, Huggy sending a crew coming on to uh, green on the south end here. Yep, yep. Green's got an idle villager. Oh, Huggy almost took oh, it out. And okay. So he's gonna have Green's to popping up to castle age right now. He's gonna have to kill a, cal a palisade while Huggy just made castle. Huggy beat Green to castle age. Oh shoot! I was thinking it was Green. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was backwards on that. Huggy's also getting. Oh, he's gonna kill the fishing ships. This is really good. This oh, is really ooh. good for him. For Huggy. Oh, man. oh wait! So he's not doing it. He's not doing it. Why did you give up? He's on running that? away. That was a great move. I think he tried, but that would have been awesome. Oh no, man. Well, he's gonna get crossbow, so once his once he's finished his building archers, so that'll uh, go pretty far. Why is he attacking? No, it's a good thing he's attacking his house. That's good. That's no, it's not. <laughs> that'll do him a lot of good. <laughs> it's, good it's good for it's good for Green. If anything, he could attack that house that he left almost dead at the front of his yeah, base. Yeah, I know. This is a crippling error in uh, target prioritization. Yeah, he almost got one of those, uh, those fishing ships. Yeah, he 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 took a third or, of the no, health on mind. one and yeah, yeah, ten yeah. ten hit points. Yeah, fishing ships have four pierce armor and archers do four damage, so they they only take one damage per shot. But when you've got ten archers, that means in six volleys you kill a fishing ship. Exactly. So it's still worth it. Exactly. And uh, I mean, he, he was within reach, and they they can't defend themselves. Right. Could have gotten all four of those fishing ships. There's right nothing there. they could do. Green would have to send his fire ships over. Okay, so yeah, Huggy then should Huggy's be. Just back out. Huggy's building Huggy's longboats. Right Huggy's building longboats, guys. He's got oh, two. Victor's... And he's got two demos. This is a really, this is actually a really thought out strategy right here. Drush into a into a navy attack. And then these uh, these archers are gonna get the crossbow upgrade. Uh, is, is coming through soon. He really needs to. Oh, he's got fletching. He's got fletching. That's good. He gets Bog Canero with his longboats. He'll be able to do a lot of damage. Also, those fire galleys are a lot less of a threat to a longboat than they are to a galley. Yeah. Okay, Green's getting Bog Canero and he's getting Skirms. He's putting his stables. Green's putting his stables too. He's counter building. Uh, he's counter building Huggy. He's getting Skirms, Elite Skirm, and he's getting Padded Archer Armor or Leather Archer Armor. But he's putting up two stables right now. Oh no. It just oh, no, needed two gonna... more shots. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, he got a kill. Oh. There we go. Oh, he's killing the villagers. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get through the, to yeah. this house. And he's gonna take out the house. He didn't oh. take out the other first though. It was almost yeah, ended. Exactly. Oh, here we go. Okay, now, now oh. here goes another villager. Another villager. That's oh. two kills. He should be able to pick up those man at arms. Honestly, with Huggy's man got four arm. longboats in the queue, and he's already got four on the map. I think these archers are a distraction, and and they're a good one too. Because if he can get some kills right now, one. Oh, he could actually, if if he micros pretty well, he can he could fight this. He just has to be careful, because he's got crossbows and Green does not. He's getting he's getting back in there. Green does it. Green's not even researching crossbows. That's another vil kill. This is a really good attack. Huggy just got back in there, and now he's getting the iPad left archer. Okay. Yeah. See, Huggy just won that fight. Just don't fall under the TC. You're about to hit, take TC fire. Back in the Oh yeah, he's taking off now. Okay, now when is Huggy gonna move these longboats? He's got eight on the field. He stopped building more. Oh, and Huggy's also got men at arms that are attacking the skirms. This is actually a really, really interesting multi pronged attack from Huggy. What I'm really liking is Huggy's base is like a fair distance away from the water. Like, I mean, except for those little inlets, you know, with it, where he just got houses and, I mean, kind of monastery, I guess. It's like the entire backside of his base is like empty. Yeah. He, he's he's like trying to reach from the water. Oh, oh and Huggy moved out. With he's his moving him. He's moving him. Yeah. Yep. And w now look at what he's going to the green. I mean, they do docks there. There's houses. There's a mill. But yeah, he's, re he's reinforcing important. the attack. And there's villagers to hit. 
He's reinforcing the attack with more crossbows and more man at arms. Yep. Green's on his back foot yep. right now. It yep. looks like Green's trying to switch into stables units, but he's queued up 30 skirmishers. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, oh, we've seen a castle drop by Huggy in front of Green's base. Oh, so, yeah. he's, so he's gonna try to defend this position, kill skirms. Ooh, but those skirms are so tanky right now. He doesn't enough, have enough crossbows. He's not a critical mass. I don't see his villagers. Okay. He's got nine villagers moving forward to drop that castle. I think that's a mistake because he's losing all of his crossbows. But we'll see if Green sees it. Does Green see it? He does. Longboats, keep going! Okay, Green is housed at 60. He just he just unhoused himself. Huggy's at, Huggy's at 45 Huggy's mils to 37. Okay, more crossbows coming in, oh, but there's uh, a lot of skirms to disrupt this castle. I think this castle's going 60, up. Yeah. It might. It might. It will attack. I don't know. The, the skirms yeah. are, uh, so the are, are doing the work. They're not killing, they're just distracting. Look how much damage they do. Yeah, yeah. It's at 93. Yeah, they're still... Yeah, there's still a lot of villagers. It's, it's going up, yeah. Yep, there it is. The castle's done. That's there go big. the skirms. That's a big, big There go the skirms. Yep, they can't. It's a oh, god miss. So Good much thing. damage. Get those All longboats those in. The longboats are moving. Wow, this is a great play from Huggy. Yeah, this is good. Okay, garrison your crossbows. Got that fire trip quick. Garrison your oh, crossbows. Oh. Here they come. Oh no. Oh, you gotta attack! Attack, Huggy! Attack! There we go. Did you see that? There you go. Hey, oh, man. Crushed it. Crushed oh, it. Damn. Going. Yeah, the fire ships are supposed to be the counter. Two. Damn. Wow. He's melting Three. stuff. Look at oh, this. Yeah. This, is, this is almost a GG already. Okay, Huggy does have 22 idols, so he, he needs to build some new lumber camps and they move some guys around. Yeah, he's out of gold. He needs to get some gold income coming. Uh, I think he's doing a decent job prioritizing with the longboats too. Like, I mean, he's taking out like the. Uh, he's not focused on buildings like he's done a couple times already. Yeah, um, he, he, hasn't, that. he hasn't scouted out the rest of uh, of Green's. Actually, he hasn't scouted out anything west of where he is right now. But, but yeah, no, knowing what he knows, it's not a bad play. He just needs to fix his bills right now. Yeah. Yeah. Put those nine in the front. Put those on uh, the stone. And take the take your idols in the back and put them on gold. Oh, perfect! He's doing that. Nice. Okay, let's see the follow up. What would I, what I would like to see him do oh. even more is take these villagers that are building an archery range. Archery range. Yes. Oh, oh, build oh, a dog shoot. instead. They're about to get crushed. No, because those are only skirms. There's only one archer there. Look at Green's queue. He's got three fire ships, crossbow, a bunch of archers queued up. Actually, this would be a good time to switch into berserkers. They're fast enough to kill skirms. Uh, they're they're pretty deadly. Green really needs a university, or Huggy needs a university to get uh, ballistics, and probably he's gonna want murder holes. Knowing how our games go. I'll be honest, I thought those skirms were going to do more damage against the villagers. No, skirms have very low attack, but they get a huge attack bonus against archers. Which is why they're so deadly. Yeah, that's but, probably why I thought that. But if you look at the villager health, reason. like, Huggy didn't lose any of his villagers. Some of them are low, but he built the castle under under skirm and fire. And green 50 copies completely shot now. Yeah, look at the point difference. 1500 in favor. Huggy's got a uh, 22-23 villager differential in favor. Less idols, 18 military to 10. Most of Green's military is uh, one fire ship. And I think it's a few skirms somewhere else around the map. Oh, we're seeing a mangonel come out from Green. I don't see a siege workshop though. Where's this siege? Oh, there it is. Dog right in front of me. Yeah, that mangonel's good if you can keep it away from the uh, castles. Okay, here we go. Huggy's taking that stone. That's good. Good for him. Okay, Green's got four fire ships out versus eight longboats, so that's that's going to be a closer fight.
Yeah, so uh, Huggy has he has 410 stone and 13 on stone. He could put up another castle pretty soon. I'd like to see him put up another castle just to the west of his current one, or on that hill to the east southeast. Yeah, I think that hill would be great, but yeah. I don't know if there's much traffic there though, so it might just be a waste. Yeah, it's it's more of a inside. It's more of a wood denial. It it'd do something to give him a staging point, potentially cover the stone and gold that are over there. Oh, there goes that mango. He's fighting the ships. Green's yeah. fighting the ships. Fire ships. Yeah, fight. You can fight this, Huggy. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Do it. He's got it. He did it. I don't know if I don't know if he'll uh, he'll take some losses for sure, but he'll probably win. It'll be a close okay. fight. No, I don't think so. I think Green's gonna win this one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but, but honestly, Huggy could build a couple docks west of his archery ranges, and just reinforce his naval yeah. dominance. Keep keep Green. He's from actually building a bunch of docks at his base. He's building three docks up by his base. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that on the northeast side. Yeah. Okay, Huggy, how are you going to keep the pressure? Green's still pumping out skirms. I still think uh, Berserkers are the tech switch here. Berserkers are the right play. Because they can fight into those skirms, no problem. I mean, it's it's kind of, he's got, he's, t he's playing with his food at this point, to be honest. And he's putting, oh, here, this is a good castle. Look at what Huggy's placed a castle. Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's still, he's still producing, uh, he's producing villagers, but he has at least one crossbow at his current castle, too. I guess just oh, wow. enough to, just enough to convince Green to keep building skirms. <laughs> okay, now, now what I would really yeah. like to see is, oh, he finally killed that house. <laughs> I'd really like to see uh, Huggy build docks west of this castle. Yeah, or like even to the you know either either side of it. Like there's two places by both of his castles that like you can build docks very near. Just yeah, stream them out. And, and honestly, a little, what I might have preferred even a little bit more is if you put that castle to the west, butted it right up against Green's house. Because he would get, he would cover the water and he would cover all those resources. And he would put a little bit more pressure on uh, map control and squeezing Green into into his base. Huggy's cruising with some idols he needs to clean up. Uh, Green's got nine villagers to 59, 52. Wow, Damn. he's got a population of sixteen. Damn. So I'm, I'm guessing. Damn. Oh, this is a. Uh... Yeah, I got a guess here too. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't know why Green hasn't surrendered. <laughs> to be honest, this is a never this... give up, never surrender. This is a great. This is a supreme dominance play. There it is. Oh, there there it is. you go. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a good play from Huggy. That was that was a different man. He, yeah. he definitely slept on that and came up with some good ideas. Yeah. What? Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I think we should have finished this game yesterday. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Dude, Huggy, that was epic. Very well played. Thank well you. Played. Yeah. Well, how the turn tables. <laughs> the turn tables. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Good, good pick on the map. <laughs> did, you, did you like that pick? I thought green. I thought you were gonna pick Vietnamese for sure. Vietnamese don't get any water bonuses. Yeah. I know they don't, but um. Oh. Though I did pick them the last two times I played Continental. I, just I was very excited. Like one of your other heavy archer saves, and I thought you might have been able to, you know, drush archer me. I was sure you were gonna do the douche, and you didn't. No, sad. I was, <laughs> I was scared about it. I was like, "Please don't douche me." Yeah, you were rolling pretty quick, and he—if he, he would have left when I would have thought he should have left for the douche, he would have made it through before you walled it off. <laughs>